This 22 year old went from homeless to 1.5 million in less than a year by creating an online app that helps people get more dates. How much money do you make? Within the last year, I've done about 1.5 million. All right, how old are you right now? I just turned 22. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to copy his exact strategy, but wait a second. You're probably thinking, why should we copy this guy? His success is probably just a fluke, right? Well, you're wrong. Because I also found this 21 year old who makes $500,000 per month from the interview app he created. How much is clearly making right now? Yeah, we're about to do six mil ARR. We're growing pretty fucking quick. How old are you? I'm 21. And this 18 year old who makes 1.4 million a month from creating a calorie counting app. How much money do you make? Make $1 million every month. And how old are you? I'm 17. Making money online from creating and selling online apps isn't a fluke. It's a new online business trend because you don't have to be a coder or developer to do it anymore. Thanks to AI, regular people like you and me can now create fully functioning apps and then sell them without needing to know how to write a single line of code. For example, I just created this online app using one of my favorite new AI tools and it took me less than 30 minutes to do it. And I literally have no idea how to code anything. And I can now sell access to this app over and over again to make money online, just like these guys did. So let me show you how to create your own sellable online apps in less than an hour using AI. And don't skip out early because I'm also going to expose the marketing strategy that these guys use to make their apps go viral. So the first thing you need to do to create your first online app using AI is to pick an AI platform that will do the coding for you. The term for this is called vibe coding. Vibe coding is just a made up tech bro term that really just means that instead of having to know how to code yourself, all you need to do is just chat with AI in regular English, telling it what you want it to create. The AI will then code whatever app or website you want in the time it takes you to drink your Starbucks. You can literally have a functioning app created in less than an hour. The AI platform I personally choose to create apps and websites is called Hostinger, which you can access through my affiliate link below if you want to follow along with me. And the reason I choose Hostinger is because one, it's the most affordable compared to other vibe coding platforms out there right now at just a few dollars per month, which you can see here. Two, it gives you a free domain and includes hosting, which other vibe coding platforms don't do. And third, it also includes all of these other AI tools, email marketing, and lets you create an e-commerce website where you can sell other things later. For this video, I'm mainly focusing on building online apps to make money online, but as a bonus, I'm also gonna show you how to use Hostinger to create a website as a second stream of income in addition to your app. So make sure you keep watching to see how these two things come together. When creating your Hostinger account, I suggest you pick the Growth Plus AI plan because it includes everything I just showed you and told you about. And on the checkout page, before you actually check out, Make sure you use my personal discount code that you can see here to get an extra 10% off. Once you create your hosting your account, you'll get access to your dashboard, which you can see here. From here, you'll have access to all of the hosting or tools. The main two are the AI website builder, which I'll show you later, and Horizons, which is the vibe coding tool, which I'm gonna show you now. So to create your app, click on the Horizons option here from the left menu, then select new website. That will take you to the Horizons interface where you'll see this chat box here. And this is where you can just chat with AI to create whatever app you want. It doesn't have to be anything complicated or technical. Just explain in regular everyday English what you want the AI to create for you. The example app I'm creating is a workout tracker that helps people keep track of their time at the gym. You can also get my prompt from the video checklist that I created to go along with this video. If you want to download the checklist, you can get it below in the description. But if you're not sure what type of app you should create, let's look at our three examples. It's not as complicated as you think it is, I promise. These guys literally just created apps that solve common problems for their audience. An app to help you write better DMs to get more dates. An interview assistant to get better jobs. A calorie tracker to help you lose weight. When you're creating your app, the easiest way to come up with your own ideas is to think of a common problem that people in your niche want to solve. Then create a simple app around that problem that you can help them solve. So back to Horizons, once you enter your prompt, hit this submit button here. You can see the actual coding that the AI is doing for you here. And a summary of what's happening over here. This part might take a few minutes to complete because the AI is literally writing every line of code for you behind the scenes. Once it's done, you'll get a preview of the first version of the app here. 
Now, you can see that just from one single prompt, Horizons AI does a really great job. It includes everything from my initial prompt, the workout type, the area, the duration, reps, and date and time. But let's say it's not exactly what you wanted on the first try. Don't worry because that's actually normal. And it's really simple to make changes or add things to your app with Horizons. For example, I'm gonna ask it to do something simple first, like change the background color to white, then hit submit. Then in just a few seconds, Horizons will make the changes to the code and you'll see the visual change appear here. Well, you see the background went from black to white. But let's say you wanna add a feature to your app that's missing. For example, I wanna add the option for the user to add specific exercises to the app to track. So I'm gonna ask Horizons to add this feature to the app for me like this. You can see what I'm prompting right here. Then in a minute or two, Horizons will add the feature I asked for here where you can see the option to add a specific exercise has been added. Now my app is starting to look good, but I wanna add in one more thing. I wanna add in the option to add an optional weight to the exercise. And I also wanna be able to add multiple exercises to one workout so I can track all the exercises in one single workout. So this is actually a pretty big function change. Let's see if Horizons can do it. Here again, you can see the prompt I'm using. And when I submit after a few minutes, Horizons was able to code the bigger functional change to my app without any issues. Now you can see the app is really coming along. We were able to do simple updates like changing colors. We were able to add small features like additional options and bigger functional changes like combining exercises into workouts. Now, the last thing I wanna do is change the overall appearance because I think it looks kinda of basic. So I'm gonna give Horizons this last prompt that you can see here, asking it to change the overall aesthetic of the app to make it more modern and add some basic animations to the buttons. When I hit submit, Horizons will get to work again and you can see the changes happening here. This request took a little bit longer than the rest because it was a bit bigger of a change, but you can see here, Horizons was still able to do what I asked. It rounded the corners of all of the boxes and the buttons. It made the button purple to match the rest of the app and added a drop shadow behind it. It also removed the little icons from the date and time like I asked it to do. Now, I think our app is pretty much done and I'm actually really happy with it. But to be honest, there is more that I could do to change or update this app even more. But for the sake of time, I'm gonna stop here because I think I've given you a good example of how hosting your horizons really works. For your app, you'll want to continue editing it until you're 100% happy with how it looks and more importantly, functions. Make sure you double check everything before releasing it to the public. Then once you're happy with how your app looks and works, I wanna show you how to monetize it because that's the entire reason why you're here, right? And real quick again, my fitness tracker app is really just a basic example of how to use Horizons. It's not necessarily the best idea, and I'm not saying you should copy this idea exactly. You need to do your own research and use your own imagination to come up with an app idea that will solve your audience's problems in a simple way. Creating apps with AI is a simple process, but it's not always easy to come up with a winning app idea. You might have to test a few before you find one that people really wanna buy. But with Horizons and Vibe Coding, the sky is literally the limit to what you can create. Now for the monetization part. Right now, this fitness tracker app is free. But if you want to monetize your app, which is the whole point of this tutorial, you'll have to add a payment processor so that you can accept payments and get paid when people access your app. I personally recommend using Stripe to do this, and so does Horizons. To add the payment option to your app, all you have to do is chat with Horizons and ask it to add this feature for you, which you can see I'm doing right here. I'm asking Horizons to make my app cost $9.99 one time to access, but you need to price your app in a way that makes sense for your specific function and niche. Then once the payment function is added to your app, you need to follow the instructions to add the Stripe integration as well. I can't really show this part because it will be different for each person's Stripe account. And I can't show you my own Stripe API keys because you need to keep those secret or people can hack your account. But all you have to do is follow the instructions that Horizons gives you to integrate the payment method into your app. And once you're done, the last thing you need to do is hit this publish button to make your app live to the public. Here you can see that Horizons gives your app a generic domain by default but make sure you change this by getting your free custom domain from Hostinger by clicking here. And here you can see the finished app on desktop where people can now add and track their own workouts. And here it is on mobile as well, where you can see everything we changed and customized in this tutorial.
Now, before I show you how to market your new app so that people can actually find out that it exists and more importantly, pay for it, I wanna show you one other way that you can use Hostinger to create a secondary income stream that goes along with your app. For that, you need to come back to your Hostinger dashboard. And instead of selecting the Horizons option, this time, pick the Websites option from the left menu. And from here, click on Add Website. Then Hostinger Website Builder. The next screen that comes up is the AI Website Builder prompt box. And if you're wondering why you'd use the AI Website Builder over Horizons, the way I like to explain it is the AI Website Builder is the simpler, more beginner-friendly version of Horizons that gives you a bit more flexibility on how you can edit your websites. Because everything inside the AI Website Builder is drag and drop. You don't have to chat with AI to make any changes, which I'll show you in a second. But the only thing is the AI Website Builder can't build apps like Horizons. It only builds websites. So if you only want a website, this might be the best tool for you. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna show you how to combine both an AI app built with Horizons with a website built with the AI Website Builder to create two income streams, not just one. So what you need to do to create your second income stream is to first create a new website. For my example, I'm asking it to create a website for me in the fitness niche, where I'm gonna sell fitness-related digital products like eBooks and guides. And before you hit this button to create your website, make sure you have this option selected. And remember, you can get this prompt from my downloadable checklist below the video if you wanna copy and paste it. Then in just a couple of seconds, the Hostinger AI Website Builder will create an entire e-commerce website for me that fits my niche, including images, sections, a blog, and a shop where I can now sell digital products. And like I mentioned earlier, the benefit of using the AI Website Builder is that you can change or add anything you want within the website using the drag and drop editor like you can see I'm doing right here. Now I'm going to go through the AI Website Builder part pretty quickly in this tutorial because I've covered it lots of times already in my other videos on my channel. The newest one being this one that you can see right here. You can click it on screen or in the description if you wanna watch the full tutorial on how to use the AI Website Builder in detail. But why I'm showing you this is because what you wanna do to create your second stream of income is to create and sell other digital products here on your website that complement or are related to the app you just created. Then you can promote all of them here on your website, giving your audience multiple options to buy from you, not just one. Because if people are interested in paying for a fitness tracker app, like my example, they're probably also interested in buying other fitness related things. Because the way to really make money online in the most efficient way possible is to create an ecosystem of products and offers that your audience can buy together. This increases the amount of money that each customer can spend within your business. So here on my website, for example, I'm gonna create and sell digital products about fitness, like you can see here, like an ebook on how to build muscle quickly from home, or a recipe book on 15 minute high protein dinners. And here you can see, I also have a link to my app that people can purchase. And these are just a couple of examples of digital products that you can create. If you don't know how to create digital products yourself and wanna learn how to create download ready digital products using AI, watch this video here where I show you exactly how to do that step-by-step. -step. I'll also link it below in the description. But once you have your app created and your website created with digital products, the last thing you need to do, and this is a must, is to market your website. Now, let's take it back to our initial examples of these young millionaire app creators. I did some digging on each one of them and uncovered the one marketing strategy they all used to make their apps go viral. And the thing they all had in common was influencer marketing. Where can I get distribution for this? And that was when like streamers, even to this day, you know, um, a lot of people like 2024, there were streamers popping up like every fucking day. Mm -hmm. Influencers are not getting paid enough for the amount of views that they're able to get. If you don't know what that is, it basically means that they paid micro influencers to create content for them. They wanted their brand name to be everywhere and didn't care how. But the one downside of influencer marketing is that you need to pay upfront for it, which a lot of people can't do in the beginning. So if you don't have the money to pay for influencer marketing, the next best option, in my opinion, is free organic content on Pinterest, not Instagram or TikTok, because Pinterest is a visual search engine where people are actively looking for solutions to their problems or products to buy. They're already primed to spend money, which makes convincing them to buy your product or app so much easier compared to posting on Instagram or TikTok, where people are not looking to buy. They just wanna be entertained. If you're interested in learning my personal Pinterest marketing strategy, 
let me know in the comments. And if you know for sure you're ready to learn how to implement it right now, I added a link to my full Pinterest training below the video. And if you wanna jump on a live Q&A session with me where I answer your questions directly, join my community. It's currently free to join my community, but it won't be free forever. So if you wanna get it now before I make the community paid, click the link below the description to join and hopefully I see you there.